I am going to be putting together my marble display along this wall. So let me show you how the wall's looking at the moment. You can see it's pretty bare at the moment, but this whole section, I've been keeping it clear exactly for this marble display that we're gonna be putting together in this video. So first things first, I've got this arc reactor, which is incredible, and I really wanna put it on display just underneath this light box. But to do that, I need to install a shelf on the wall for this to be able to just sit on it perfectly symmetrically underneath the image of this arc reactor. So that's the plan. So here it is, this is the little shelf. I've already done the measurements and I've done slight little markings on the wall. This is pressure because I only get one go at this. If I put the holes in the wrong place, then there's going to be nasty looking holes in the wall. So let's hope that I've done my measurements right. Here we go. No going back now. Ooh, there it is. First hole. Second hole in. Okay, it's on. I like it, it looks good from here. So what I've just done there is I've created this tiny little groove for the cable to fit in. So that the shelf can sit flush against the wall and the cable can still fit through the little hole. Yeah boy. Okay, so I've decided I'm gonna take it one step further and I'm punching holes in, <laughs> in the shelf because inside here is hollow, which means as long as I make a big enough hole here, this should be able to tuck in there and be completely invisible on the wall. That's the plan, let's see if it works. I'm pretty sure that's not the most efficient way to get the job done, but I think it's works, let's see. Boom! Boom! Look at that! Ah, oh, yes! So it's up, I'm so happy with it. Look at that, that looks so sick. Yes, and my measurements were right. It is bang central. If you look at that, that is absolutely slap bang in the middle. Yes, man, yes. The first element of the display wall is up and it's a strong start. It is a strong start. I'm excited for this because Loki Scepter is going to be one of the showpieces of the wall because not only does the Scepter glow up with the blue bulb, but the actual stand lights up as well. So when it's on the display wall, it's going to really stand out. So I've got a confession to make. I think I've changed my mind. I've just taken it off for a second and put Thor's hammer and Captain America's shield on the shelf instead. And I like the symmetry, the triangular symmetry. It's agreeing with me more than the, the curve because Loki's scepter is obviously an asymmetrical weapon. So it, I don't think it was really working underneath uh, the arc reactor. Something else isn't sitting right with me with this. Can you guess what it is? Thor's hammer, instinctively you look at it and you think, that is heavy, that's a heavy tool. So to have it on the thin shelf, along with the shield, it's not sitting right with me. It's got to stand alone on a more sturdy, standalone mini shelf, just like this one. So I need to replace this, <laughs> even though I've just done all the work. I know, I've got to replace this with one of these, well, two of these, one for each. And I think that's gonna be how I get the best results. So yeah, kind of that work was all for nothing, except for it wasn't because it, it allowed me to see that it wasn't right like that. So now we try again and I'm not gonna give up on this until it is absolutely bang on. A little longer than a few minutes later. So I've changed the shelves and I'm really happy with it. I like it. It looks much better with two individual shelves. The thicker shelves look so much better as well. They look sturdier. You're gonna like this. I've done a move. Behind them, check this out. I've put these little LED lights that you can just click on. They're not expensive, but look how much they add to the display. It's like a back glow. It gives it, it gives it that little extra bit of magic that it needs. Next up, I'm gonna move on to this Captain America shield. Place this bracket on the wall 
and then if I show you this, this has already got straps inside for your arm and I can use those straps to literally just hang on the bracket. I've still got to get my measuring right though, so I'm going to do that now. I can't wait to see this. Let's go. Here we go. Drills back out. I've marked the hole. Brackets in. There you go. It's up. It is up. It looks sick. It looks so sick. Look at that. Look at that. This one's coming together, man. It's looking good. Place the eye on the shelf. Look at that. Here we go. On goes the scepter. What's going on? Okay, so next up, we're gonna position the storm breaker on the wall and I'm gonna put it on the end here, like this. I bought these things. Okay, so moment of truth. Oh, it's going off here. Uh, the, the, um, the wall, things, I don't know what they're even called, are in place. What I've done as well, if you're worried about the weight bearing, because this thing is quite heavy. Oh, it's still going, look, it's going off. Come on. Okay, uh, if you're worried about the weight bearing, you don't need to, because what I've done is the bottom will be rest. Oh, again, it keeps going off. The bottom will be resting on this, so these are literally just to stop it from falling over. They're not actually bearing the brunt of the weight, so here we go. Place that there, line that up so it's perfectly straight with the wall. And boom, the storm breaker is on the wall. Really happy with that, looks sick. It's really good. I forgot to tell you, I bought a little Groot to add to the collection. I don't know if he's gonna go on the display, but I think we've gotta make room for him somewhere. It's just, he's gotta go somewhere. He's gotta go somewhere. And I also, I bought a new Spider-Man mask that's got the inside head casing thing to keep it shaped when you're not wearing it. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put these two, but they're two new additions to the Marvel collection. The next day. Okay, so we're gonna change the lightbox canvas in the garage and we're gonna create our own bespoke canvas. So I downloaded this wallpaper, which I really like. I love it, I think it's sick, but I think we can make it even better. So let's get to work. First things first, Spider-Man, he's gotta be in. Falcon, you're in. Vision, Captain Marvel, Wanda, Black Panther, come on. Doctor Strange, sorry Maria. Little Ant-Man on Iron Man's shoulder, bang. I'm gonna add a sneaky Loki in the background. And then where his legs would be, I'm gonna cover that with fire. Boom. Electricity for Thor's hammer. Ooh, look at that. Before, after, yeah. So he's looking down at the moment, but I wanna make his eyes glow and make it like he's looking straight ahead. Done. And then I'm gonna add lightning and electricity VFX. Let's go. Boom. I'm just gonna add some light reflecting off some of the surfaces. So I'm look there, boom, Thor's leg, Captain America's leg, Thor's cape. And also Cap's shield would be reflecting some of the light being emitted from Thor's hammer. So, boom. Done. So that's it, we're done. I'm really happy with it. All I've got to do now is send this off to 360 Signs. That's the company that does all of my lightbox canvases. They're going to print it onto a real canvas and then send it back to me and then we're going to put it up in the garage. I can't wait for this. Let's go! One week later. So I've replaced the old Spider-Man masks with this newer one and this Iron Man helmet which also looks like it could potentially double up as a war machine helmet which would work because, again, 
Avengers related. This thing's really heavy. You can see that it started to sag downwards because of the weight. I went and I bought these things. Big day, big moment. The new canvas has arrived, which means it's time for this one to go. So let's take it out. And let's replace it with the new one. Let's go. Another update, got a new Infinity Gauntlet, and it is the one from Endgame. I just thought, do you know what? This is very Iron Man, this section. We've got the arc reactor, we've got this. It's obviously, it feels very Iron Man. This is sick, and I love it, and there will be play a space for it in the garage. But I just thought, you know what? I want the Endgame one here. It's gonna look better. It's gonna fit the wall better, so I got it. But there is one thing. <laughs> Check this out. So you know how we've got the eye here? And inside it is the time stone. We can't have two time stones, so if there's gonna be a time stone there, we needed to not have a time stone on the gauntlet, so <laughs> I've taken it out. You can see here, you're not actually supposed to do this to this one. These stones, they're glued on, so I had to really prize it out. If I turn it on here, you can see that all of the infinity stones light up gonna look sick especially in the dark but I'm not gonna have the time stone on the gauntlet also this gauntlet's got the Avengers Infinity War sticker but this one haha <laughs> Avengers Endgame this is the one longer than a few minutes later. So that's it guys, the wall is complete. I'm super, super happy with it. Honestly, everything's come out so, so well. I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. We made some mistakes along the way, but corrected them, and I'm really happy with the layout, the order of things, and just how it's, how it's come out. It's incredible for me to get the vision from there into reality and manifest it like what we've seen in this video. There's still loads more to do, but this wall is pretty much complete. Guys, honestly, I cannot thank you enough for the support. The channel's growing so, so fast, and it's all thanks to you guys for engaging with my videos, liking, commenting, sharing, and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying the videos. If you haven't already, make sure you turn your notifications on. I always say it, because that way you'll never miss a video. And trust me, you want to see what I'm going to do with the next updates. And just in general, there's some banging content that I've got planned. But that's it for this video, guys. We're all done for today. As always, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. if there was one piece, one Marvel weapon or prop or anything from the Marvel movies that you would add to this wall that goes with the theme, what would it be?
it be? I want to know. I'm going to be reading all the comments. So get at me in the comment section. And let me know what you would add to add that little extra touch to this one. Or if you think it's just good as it is, it's complete. It doesn't need anything. Let me know. I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts and ideas. Comment section. Let's go.